a variation of the instrumentation amplifier at uh, these three resistors here in the chain between the outputs of the first two amplifiers. The advantage of this particular circuit is that it allows you with a single resistor to control the overall gain of the circuit. So let's see how this works. The first thing that we'll notice is this output amplifier, and this is a standard differential amplifier. So let's just uh, start by calling this node over here voltage A, and this one over here voltage B, and uh, let them be the input to the second stage here. We should by now be able to write the output expression that the output of this amplifier is equal to voltage at B, minus voltage A times the gain of this amplifier, which is simply R3 over R2. So that would be uh, the gain of the output of this thing if VA and VB were the inputs to the circuit. But in fact, V1 and V2 were the inputs. So what we'd like to do now is write an expression which relates these two values to these two values. We can do that by examining this chain. Assuming that VA and VB have slightly different voltages, a current will flow. This current, let's just call it I. And uh, because there is no current flowing into the inverting input of this first amplifier, that current has got no place to go but through the second resistor, RG, the gain control resistor. And again, since the inverting input of the amplifier draws no current, that same current has to flow through R1. So the same current is flowing through these three resistors here. Now we can apply Ohm's law to that chain. And we can simply say that uh, voltage at A minus voltage at B is equal to the current times the sum of all those resistors. And we can see we have two R1s plus we have RG, the gain resistor. Now, that still doesn't quite get us to where we want to be, but if we remember another uh, characteristic of operational amplifiers, and that is that when everything's working properly, the gain at the non-inverting input, the, vol the voltage at the non-inverting input, is exactly the same as the voltage at the inverting input. So here we go, if this is V1, then this has to be V1, which means that this node over here also has to be V1. Likewise, if this amplifier is working properly, this voltage at the non-inverting input has to be the same as the voltage at the inverting input, which means that this is also V2. So now let's write an expression which describes uh, the current in this uh, center resistor as a function of these two voltages, V1 and V2. And we do it exactly the same, same way as we just uh, worked with VA and VB. V1 minus V2 is equal to I times RG. So now we have two equations that are written independently of each other, but they have the same I in it. So we can rewrite this one I'm going to rewrite this expression as I is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by RG. Okay. Now what we can do is we can take this expression for I here and plug it into there. So now we're going to have VA minus V B is equal to, just plug in the I, and uh, we'll multiply the RG through at the same time while we're at it. V1 minus V2 times, so 2 over 2 times R1 divided by RG is simply 2R1 divided by RG, plus RG divided by RG is simply 1. Now we note the uh, similarity between this expression here and this expression here. 
they are the same except that they are inverted. That's to say that we can make this one look like that if we multiply it by minus 1. Multiply this by minus 1, it becomes minus a plus b. Minus b a plus b. And if we multiply this side with the multiple that side, and of course, then this, this becomes uh, v2 minus v1. So we'll just do that. We're going to multiply this thing through by minus 1 on both sides. So we end up with vb minus va is equal to v2 minus v1 times 2r1 divided by rg plus 1. Now, notice that this expression is exactly the same as this expression over here. So now we can make a substitution and we can say, therefore, VO is equal to V2 minus V1 times 2R1 divided by RG plus 1 times R3 over R2. There it is. This is the equation which describes the output of this instrumentation amplifier, and it is RG, this one over here, which is the gain control resistor. That's the one right there. So it's a little bit uh, more complicated uh, equation than perhaps what we've seen in other cases. But uh, another way that you could do this, of course, is you could simply take the original circuit that we had, which had uh, no resistors here whatsoever, and then uh, follow this by a gain amplifier, an amplifier with adjustable gain. But uh, this circuit is very, very common, works very well, and you notice that the circuit is perfectly symmetrical. It's perfectly symmetrical. So if all these resistors are balanced, precision balanced, then the impedance seen here and the impedance seen here is identical. Any offset currents that go anywhere in the circuit will automatically cancel out. So this is uh, probably as good as you can get to making a basic instrumentation amplifier with gain control.